Hey, what's up, Airsofters? Welcome back to another video. And you can already tell by the thumbnail what we're getting into. We're going to be unboxing the Glock 18C by Elite Force, licensed by Glock, as you can tell. And basically, I'm going to unbox it, give my opinions about it, and we are also going to shoot the gun in this video. So let's get right into it. All right, we're back. So let's get right into this Glock box that you guys see here. So let's just open this up. Actually, I'm going to show you guys around it first. I did show you a little bit about uh, of the box in the unboxing. So what we got there is just some stuff no one really pays attention to or cares about. Everyone really likes this or just the front. But we'll, what we really want is what's in the inside. So let's get right into this. Also, I'm going to be using .25 Elite Force BBs and my new green gas that I just picked up too. So let's just open this bad boy up right now. Nice and easy, nothing's really taped off, which is okay. Put this aside real quick. So let's flip this open. All right, looking really clean, normal packaging, as you can tell. I bring it up to frame for you guys. And um, I did look into it a little bit. Um, the orange tip is removable, but it's too bad the outer barrel is not threaded, so then I can't put my tracer unit on it. I'd have to buy a separate barrel. So let's check out the pistol here. It comes in its plastic wrapping, and really easy to just take out. Here it is. And then I'm just going to grab it here. All right, so first impressions just by holding it. It is really light compared to both my other gas back pistols, this literally has zero weight to it. It is super light. So I'm just going to start off with the front, move on to the end, just to show you guys the really good close-up of the Glock 18C here. So basically, all right, there's no mag in it, and it is clear. Wait, that felt good. Ooh, that is nice. We'll get into that a little more in the video. So starting with the front, you do have the orange tip, and is that even, oh, it looked a little off off the frame, but I think that's just me. But so yeah, you can remove the orange tip just by pulling out with some pliers, and you got the rail for a little laser or flashlight. Um, you do have your little levers there on each side to take down the slide, and then you do have uh, the slide opening there with the serrations in the outer barrel. But obviously those are just for looks when it comes to airsoft. And moving on, you got your front sight there. Nice white dot. And moving on, you do have some little serrations there for you no know, grip when you're racking the slide. Um, you do have your slide catch. I forgot what that was called for a second. It is lubed up. Like it's really lubed up. Like it's getting all over my hands. On the other side, yeah, look at all that grease right there. That's good. That's what we want. Um, so we got to that part. You do have your regular trigger guard. Nice little grip right there. Yeah, that actually feels really nice. Um, uh, there is no safety on this gun. The only safety is the trigger safety, which is in the middle. You got to press that down in order for uh, in order to shoot it, basically. Um, there is your rear iron sight. Let's see if we can match those up for you guys. I don't think it'll photo focus. Eh, who cares? You guys get the idea. There's the top, side, right side of it, left side. And then the main part, what you guys like, is the the switch here. Oh, that, that actually feels really good. It's not too loose, not too hard. It's just perfect to where, when you're shooting, it should not flip on you, which is perfect. So up is semi-automatic, down fully automatic. They call that the fun switch. And you got your mag release right there. Feels really nice. Just like your standard. Um, and your mag well. Nothing too special. The pistol grip feels really nice. And it does have a polymer body and the metal slide. If you guys are wondering. So there's really nothing else to go over on this gun other than just to shoot it. There's probably a ton of other videos showing you more in-depth, detailed um, stuff. I was going to break this down for you guys, taking it apart, but... There's tons of videos on YouTube <laughs> about it. Does come with three O-rings. 
Not sure if that's either for the mag. I'm pretty sure that's for the mag. And you do have your warranty stuff and your manual. Move those aside. And then if I can get this one part out. There we go. We do got the 50 round mag. All right, so there we go, 50 round mag. For the Glock 18C. And as you guys can tell, by this Glock mag, you fill from the back. I did have a little stuff in there, but that's good. And it doesn't seem that lubed up or oiled around the ports. Usually, which is a good thing. I mean, I see a little there. I don't know. Not a big deal. I could always do it myself. Oh, yeah. That's going to need some breaking in. But basically, there's the 50 round mag. Let's put it in the gun. It's empty. It's always good to check. Oh, that just completes the look right there. That looks nice. That feels really good. Really sturdy. I mean, there's a little play, but nothing to complain about. You guys can hear it. Yeah, it's not that bad. Does lock back, which what we need, what we want. <laughs> that actually is really nice. So there you go. There you have it. 50 round mag, Glock 18C. Let's get right into the shooting now, now that the box is over with. Really isn't much in there, nothing too special. So there we go. Let's get right into the shooting. All right, so I'm out in my backyard right now. I'm kneeling down behind this table. I'm opening up the green gas can. There we go. Nice and fresh. Um, let's fill up the mag. I think it's gonna be like 10 seconds worth in here. Normally I do like five seconds of my regular mags. So let's just try this out. All right, so that went really clean. I don't hear any leaks, no leaks, which is really good. There's pressure on the top, so let's load this bad boy up. Hopefully my phone doesn't fall. That's weird, didn't go in. not going in oh there we go the top bb wasn't pushed in now it's in nice and tight first one loaded let's go ahead and shoot it all right so here we go i'm gonna shoot my barn right behind uh i have it on semi-automatic full mag let's go it'd probably help if i Oh, look at that. The slide's not all the way forward. And that was weird. Oh, there we go. This gun had a few problems off the start. That's not good. Skipping shots. One second. All right, I got it working again. Uh, the mag um, spring wasn't going up. So there we go. It's actually really nice. I'm going to shoot towards the the ground it's really nice sounds really good all right i'm gonna use the last few bbs on fully automatic here we go that is nice and it locks back on the last one i didn't even hear it come out that is crazy though let's load up a second mag and do fully auto all right another full mag actually i only filled it partial way because I didn't have enough BBs. Um, so let's just do this on full auto. I didn't refill with gas. I just want to see how 10 seconds worth of the green gas would hold up in the 50 round mag. So let's go ahead and shoot it. I did get some oil on my hand there. This thing kicks. It's crazy. Let me do a close up of the full auto. The sound on this is crazy.
as you guys can tell the gas is running out and that's just after one and a half mag practically so it did run out right there so that's actually pretty good so that means just after one mag i'm gonna have to re refill the gas but that's actually not that bad for getting half a 50 round mag and a full 50 round mag through just one seconds worth of not one second but 10 seconds worth of the green gas so not bad all right so i put some more gas in it just to finish up the last i think 10 rounds that are left in this mag so once i finish that up we're going to conclude this video so let's get right into it the when i do put the side back forward it does feel a little weak but you know it needs to break in it's good to always shoot it i'm gonna do some semi perks of being a lefty you can't use that <laughs> Man, that's nice. Just kicks hard. This is the left side. I haven't done the left side yet. Let's do the top. Finish off with full auto. And locks back, which is good. Perfect. Does feel a little weak, but all good. So basically, my opinion it needs some breaking in. It did have a few problems off the start, but those were just very, very minor issues. Like those were just, I think my problems. <laughs> so we're all good. So basically that concludes my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.